So uh, installed transmission mount, uh, motor mount in the front, front center motor mount slash transmission mount. So now uh, I need to reattach the engine bracket. All right, so gave it a little more support with that motor mount and now what to do? Do I use the 3M product that's got such great reviews or do I re-JB weld um, my work, rework my old work? I was putting a lot of uh, stock in the idea of aluminum inserts on those holes and I didn't really slather the JP weld all over the bracket to the connective surfaces that I had to work with and what if I focused more on that the inserts hold the bracket on and then using more JB weld to attach the metal to metal surfaces you know there's a lot of tractors and heavy equipment in the Midwest that's being held together by JB Weld and it's probably been held together by JB Weld for 20 plus years so it, it is uh, it is good stuff and it does work I had one friend told me he says Russ when you think you have enough JB Weld add twice as much JB Weld and then you'll have enough JB Weld <laughs> so well, let's try that maybe right or go with a 3M product mm, what to do all right, and after getting everything out of the way and yeah, removing the bracket, I realize there's no way to get a tap or even a drill bit in that top hole. So I'm just gonna re-JB weld it. That's all right, I'm gonna re-tap it. Re-thread the bottom bolt and the top one I'm going to re-JB weld because it actually still has some threads to it. The threads on the outside were damaged, but this thing still threads up in there quite a ways. That's about as far as I can get tight. But I wanted to repair. Hopefully <laughs> put some more weld in there and see if I can repair that other side where the uh, where the yeah, it can't, I don't think it just it didn't stick very well to the side of that uh, yeah, the JB Weld didn't adhere on the outside, but it's in the inside. We still got threads. I'll go down there deeper too. And and then re-thread the bottom bolt and see if that works. So I bought this handy device, but I still, you know, unless I get a stubby drill bit, which isn't gonna help right, to getting to the end of the hole, it's still very difficult to um Right, like it's, I'm not gonna get all the way up in there, but uh, even my Dremel is too long. But this thing, with this on the end, I can at least clean up the inside of that hole a little better. Try that. Fit in there. Oh man. This one's a little bigger. Now spending some time brushing out, cleaning it out. Cameras in my way. You get the idea. All right, so there it is. Reweld. That's uh, gonna sit for 24 hours. There's my wax. I waxed up the bolt again. American Pie. 
<laughs> American Pied it. There's an old movie reference for you. And we'll uh, we'll see how the re-tapping goes. All right. So this is uh, I tried to get a drill bit in there with this puppy and still even putting the I'll show you. I don't have the drill bit on me, but <laughs> take my word for it. The drill bit I couldn't get even while it was in the hole. I couldn't get a nub on it because um, it's a little long. Maybe if I find a stubbier drill bit, I don't know. But I couldn't drill out that hole. But I think I'm just going to tap it anyway. So I got a, a little bigger tap. This is about two millimeters, one and a half millimeters bigger than the screw that I pulled out of there. And I'm gonna try that. And then I was thinking about trying the Scotch Weld, which is a more flexible product than JB Weld. It stood up some tests that are really good out there. Um, but it's expensive, man. And it's hard, it, I'd have to order it. We're kind of on a timeline thing. I'd like to get this done. So I might just slap more JB Weld on it and see what happens. All right, sprayed it down with some of this stuff here cutting and tapping fluid. And now, let's see how far I can get this before I need a, I'm gonna have to use a. All right, so I found a socket that I can use to tap that hole. Give that a try. All right, so I've got, it's getting so cloudy dark. It looks like I might dump rain on me any minute. But, I got it about as far in there as it was going to go. And this is just to hold it on. So we're hoping that some, and I, I didn't prep it very well. You can see up there, over here, I did. there's a little paint right there. So the whole, the JB Weld wasn't prepped very well. So I'm going to try this again. I'm going to prep, I prepped that one really well. I prepped the hole. And uh, yeah, we're gonna use a coarse grade thing to get that JB Weld to stick. Oh, here comes the rain. I feel it on my bald head. Dang. Got the hole tapped just in time for the cloud burst. Okay, so I screwed these all the way down, making sure that I tested the depth of my tap, taps. All right, the longest bolts I could do here. And I'm gonna pull them back out, remove the bracket, and JB will the heck out of it. All right, so these are prepped holes, man. I got them sanded way down. I even used Q-tips to get the dust and stuff out of the holes. Used a... Uh, sandpaper 60 grade boom to uh, sand it all down look at that and that's gonna stick that's what I've been told if JB well doesn't work it means you didn't prep right and you know I don't think I might have prepped very well in the last video so yeah man doing this again with JB weld because I'm way too cheap to spend hundred dollars on the 3m stuff <laughs> the 3m stuff work i don't know probably but this is six bucks and it's a really really close second um when it comes to bonding metals duct tape duct tape duct tape whatever uh so there's something i didn't do last time was this i'm covering so i don't get any drip any weld on these pulleys where the belt's going that would be bad and as you can see I've roughed up that area there's a lot more connective tissue for me to uh, 
attach this thing to now. See that? All right, I got a good mixture going on. Roughed it up even more and ready to slob it on. Stick it up on there. And look at that. Yep. All right, so I had to do this very speedy. <laughs> but uh, there it is. Uh, bolt it on, torque down, trying this again, man. Get a little gap down there. Good amount of weld. I did not put this bolt through. Put that one there. There's a tad bit of weight on it. Just a tad. And it's held up by this jack stand. It's just holding most of the weight. And another 24 hours. Let's see what happens. All right, so here's something strange uh, going after possible engineering problem, right? So unlike my 05, this has one bolt on top. The 05 has three bolts across the top, no cross bolt. And this cross bolt is pretty low. And I've noticed, see how low that is? And I noticed that now, and I tighten this all the way down. And then I noticed it doesn't, yeah, it does it goes through. Never mind. <laughs> I don't know. It lines up now once it's all tightened down. I'd hate to just leave one bolt up there because if that breaks, it could cause the uh, cause the engine to drop and power steering unit would hit the bottom of the frame over there and that would be bad. But anyway. And here's something interesting. It looks like I now that now that I've Packed down the motor mount. It looks like I uh, I did pretty good with a weight ratio because I don't need the jack. It looks like to uh, remove. Maybe I do. <laughs> jack stand. There it goes. Boom. Nice. Look at that. And put the belt on now. All right. Belt is installed nicely and now remove my little get the wires out of the way bungee cord put the top radiator hose back on we'll start her up reinstalled the shroud and because my static strip was looking uh, corroded green I made a new one out of a uh, 14 gauge copper wire couple of alligator clips yeah, that's in there just because I know how many electrical problems can happen when the engine isn't like ground properly so there's that I don't want to forget this people ain't gonna start without that Starting up Vicky there, and of course she sounds great now <laughs> because everything's lined up. Everything's lined up and bolted on. The question is, how will she sound two weeks from now after uh, being driven for a couple of hundred miles? Stay tuned. Tuned for this continued. Vicky Saga. Give it a give it a like and a sub and check out the Vicky playlist. We'll see how we'll see how she's running a couple weeks from now. This has been JB Weld rework number two. <laughs> More surface area. Attention to prepping surfaces better. Don't forget to subscribe and why not watch another video? around.